collaboration and engagement is central to EMBS. We spoke with leading women in biomedical engineering about their career journeys, mentorship moments, and how interdisciplinary work is shaping the future of the field. My name is Natalie Mrachatz Kersting. I'm a professor of neuroscience at the Albert Ludwigs University in Freiburg, but I am also your vice president for member and student activities. My name is Romana Schierhagel, and I'm working at the University Medical Center in Groningen, and I'm also a founder of the startup company QTSense. My area of research is in quantum sensing for biological and medical applications. My name is Anaita Kiani. I work for Johnson & Johnson. I'm director of data science and digital health in the innovative medicine. I work on neurodegeneration disease, primarily Alzheimer's and Parkinson, and also I'm chair of Women in Biomedical Engineering for IEEE EMBS. My name is Michela Clapalone. I am Associate Professor of Bioengineering at the University of Genoa in Italy, and I'm also Vice President-elect for Technical Activities of IEEE EMBS. My field of research is neural engineering. In my career, I have had several really amazing mentors, and uh, one of them is actually our ambassador for IEEE EMBS, and that is uh, Professor Metin Akai from Houston. He is an inspiration. He is traveling around the world. He is doing fantastic things, always supporting the young professionals, always supporting the females. I have several mentor moments and it's mostly the little things like that I met somebody at the conference who really, I, I, I talked to him about my career plan. I just mentioned it briefly at the poster and he was like, oh yeah, come on, I'm going to help you. I'm going to give you tips. One of the most impactful mentors in my life uh, is Dr. Erika Ross. She is the president of IEEE EMBS and she uh, believed in me more than what I believe in myself. She pushed me to my full potential and uh, what I do see right now uh, in my career, moving from technical more to the leadership, is because she created this strategy uh, mindset and also vision that I'm very grateful. My first and inspiring mentor was Professor Massimo Grattarola at University of Genova. He was fantastic because he uh, made me understand how to get acquainted with experimental activities together with the engineering and technological background that is provided by an engineering path. In a space like EMBC, where we have, and this year, many people from all the different regions of the world coming together, is that you can exchange information about what is it like to be a biomedical engineer in your country? What obstacles are you facing? Uh, could we maybe, you know, by collaborating, overcome some of those obstacles? Collaboration is always key and uh, you can only do so much by yourself and if you bring in other people that can fill the gaps that you, where you don't have the expertise, you can never know anything, everything. So you, you, it's great to collaborate with people and uh, this conference gives a great opportunity to meet those people and make friends. The cross uh, collaboration is global so it doesn't have any boundaries. I do see 3,000 people in EMBC from all the, uh, around the world and clinicians, engineers, scientists. I think what is unique about this opportunity is bringing all the expertise together and creating something meaningful for the patients. Multidisciplinarity is so much important nowadays because uh, uh, science is demanding a lot of progress in a highly dynamic environment at a very fast pace. So we do need to have collaborators at different multidisciplinary levels. So it is very important to meet people and possibly also your next collaborator in an environment like this conference. Thanks for watching, but now an important disclaimer. The content of this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Viewers should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.